Apple Valley is the highest ranked team in preseason polls. The Sun Devils are ranked number 40 in the state. Third year coach Kyle Godfrey has five two time All Mojave River League players returning, led by All CIF linebacker Dustin Reynolds. How does he see his role on the team his senior season? Uh, I feel like it's a, a, it's a leader, leadership. I think um, I've gotten a lot bigger, stronger, faster. So you're going to see a new Dustin this year. I'm going to be playing both ways. Be ready for that. Is there anybody that has been a role model that you have fashioned your style of play after? I like to resemble myself as Devin White, plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I feel like he's the you know the true middle linebacker that I really watch and watch his film and really take uh, some of his strategies strategies and use them into mine. So uh, yeah. The High Desert's most highly recruited football player ever is Raymond Polito. 14 D1 colleges recruited him. Raymond Polito's presence factoring mightily in Apple Valley being ranked 40th in the state. His role his senior year. Oh man, uh, I'm just looking to lead. Uh, I know the these younger guys are going to have a little bit of a struggle coming from COVID, uh, so I'm just here to be whatever they need, uh, whether that be a role model, uh, an older brother figure. Uh, I'm here for the I'm here for the team. Senior two-way starter Jaira Lupepatella has been labeled the team's Swiss Army knife. What's that tell us? Um, you know, I just I just try to do whatever I can for the team, and um, they can use me wherever, and I feel like I could be used wherever. So I just try to do what I can for the team. I, I like to. Be, uh, I think my role this year is like more of a leader, and um, just le lead and help uh, the young kids come up. Twice All MRL tight end Brandon Armijo will also be a defensive starter this year. Um, I think I have a big role of playing middle linebacker and tight end because uh, I'm a starting middle linebacker now. It's my first year, so I think I have a big role in starting on that defense with all these starters from last year. What are some of the factors that have made this team get bigger and better every year? Um, I think it's different from every, we're different from every school because of our weight room. Our, we grind in the weight room every day, every summer. Um, we have a great weightlifting coach, Coach Morales, and Coach Downing, Coach Sandoval. Yeah. Returning all MRL defensive back, Isaiah Ojeda, on his role. Uh, my role is to, um, on the backfield, the DB secondary, be the leader out there, teach the young kids, bring them up, uh, strap up one side of the field. That's my role. What's it going to take for this team to regain the MRL title and return to the CIF championship game? I feel leadership is what it's going to take because I feel like we got all the assets and tools to make it deep. It's just leadership and how we carry ourselves throughout this season. Alexander Arias, 66, is the leader of the offensive line. I think my role is to be like to lead the offensive line because uh, coming back, there's only like three starters coming back, so we, we're going to be solid. But I left last year with an injury, so I want to come back and come with a comeback. What are some factors that have helped make this team get where it is ranked high in the state again this year? What are some of the reasons this team has gotten so good? Uh, it's probably the O-line because we're a run-first team, and you know O-line's big every year, so we always try to run it down the other team's throats. Junior quarterback Noah Seeley directs the Sun Devils offense, thrust into the starting role by way of Jaden Denigle's career-ending injury. He responded to his baptism under fire by leading the Sun Devils to three CIF playoff victories victories and into the Division Three title game. Yeah, so definitely I didn't get much reps throughout the season at quarterback, so when I just got put in it was just I just had to get it done. But it definitely has boosted my confidence and I definitely feel more comfortable with the offense and my teammates and everything going into this season. So uh, I think my role is to be a leader and lead this team, uh, being that, that big leader in the backfield and just trying to command this team to bang it as far as we can. Which school had the area's leading ground gainer and leader in passing yardage and touchdown passes last season? The Cougars of Granite Hills. Running back Cameron Smith rushed for 1,482 yards and scored 22 touchdowns. Quarterback Byron Rivas threw for 1,957 yards and 26 touchdowns. Both are poised to lead the Cougars into Desert Sky League title contention this year. Yeah, I would say I'm the leader of this team. You know, these guys, you know, look at how I hold myself and my body language throughout the year. 
And I, yeah, I would say I'm the leader of this team, and I really want to. I really want to perfect that this year. Describe your style of play as a quarterback. I'm definitely pass first, and you know, if worst comes to worst, I I can scramble, get out of the pocket, and definitely use my legs to gain yards. What are some of the strengths of this team? Yeah, definitely our skill positions. You know, we have a returning running back, Cameron. You're talking to Cameron Smith, uh, class of 2024. I play running back and DB. What's your role on this team, Cameron? Uh, my role really is to look forward and to go in and get a ring. So I say like a starter. I push others to be great, pretty much, yeah. Yes, sir. What's your skill set? What do you bring to the table? What do you want college recruiters to know and see when they come watch you play? I want them to see like how great of a team we are, how we work together, and how far we came from. Because last year we did have a great season, but I want to see if we could do it again for real. Yes, sir. Individually, what's your skill set? Um, I want to rush for what I rushed more than last year. So 1,600, I want to go for 2,000 or 3,000. Yes, sir. Right. What's this team going to have to do in order to get back where they were last year, be a contender for the DSL title, and go deep in the playoffs? Uh, we're going to have to work harder than what we did last year because that Jordan game, I mean, we're up, but like we got too over ahead of ourselves and it just threw us off. So other than that, we're going to not go in too cocky, go in with what we know how to do and go from there. Another skill position to stand out? Uh, I'm Ali Kenny. Uh, this is my senior year. I play wide receiver and I play safety. I would like to say my role is uh, I'm like a leader out here. I try to push everybody to work even harder. I make sure that I work as hard as I can so that everyone works as hard as they can because I know people look up to me on this team. What motivational factor was it for this team to do so well and especially go three games deep into the into the postseason? How much does that carry over and uh, help uh, motivate this team? Uh, it helps a lot. And, uh, we uh, we were really just we really wanted it that year. Like everyone was like we had a good leaders last year that was ready to hit and ready to make sure we were all in check and. They got us all in check, and we made sure we tried as hard as we could, and we believed in each other. We made it happen. Individually, what's your skill set, Malik? What do you bring to the table, talent-wise? Uh, I feel like I have some nice game awareness. I know what's going on, and I know like what to do in certain situations, and I make sure I work as hard as I can. I feel like my work ethic is very hard. And I, I strive to be as great as I could be. Add Theodore Wiggins, 11, to the list of elite skill position players, the 6'4", 185-pound wide receiver, twice all DSL. For the Cougars' offense to click, the O-line has to perform. This four-year starting center is the leader of the O-line. Matthew Ali, class 23, play offensive line and defensive line. What is your role on this team? Uh, just to be a leader and to be a role model for everybody and you know, to work hard. Alex Gonzalez is not looking back at last season's unprecedented success. His sixth season as Cougars head coach makes him the dean of Desert Sky League coaches. His goal? To lead his team to the school's first DSL crown. We Got Em Tease presents this Action Highlights High Desert Sports Report. We Got Em Tease, your headquarters for custom screen printing and master craft embroidery design. We Got Em Summer Special Jacket Packaging starting at $2.89. Summer Special Sale ends August 31st. We Got Em Tease since 1984. Now two locations, Apple Valley and Upland. Oh yeah, We Got Em Tease.